these 83,000 square kilometers of Kaveri Basin, we want to bring it back at least one-third of it back into some kind of green cover. The amount of green cover removed is 87 percent. We want to put back 33 percent. For this, we've been preparing for over 18 years. We have converted 69,670 farmers in Tamil Nadu from regular farming to agroforestry. With this agroforestry, their income has multiplied many-fold. So now we are 100 percent confident that this will be a solution for the farmers' economics. So this is essentially an economic plan with a significant ecological impact. So only question is just this, for the first three years when the farmer goes through a phase where he loses part of his income, yes. at that time he needs a little bit of support. We are appealing both to uh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu governments, we've already appealed to them that uh, they must support these farmers to shift from regular farming to agroforestry. Right now, India is importing over 45,000 crores worth of timber and over one lakh crores worth of timber products. But we have not been growing anything in our land because farmers fear that if I grow a tree, I can't cut it, the forest department will come. So now we have released about 18 species. Right now, we have spoken to the environment ministry. They are saying they will release all the species. If you grow it on your private land, you can cut it at your will and sell it and use it according to your will. Only then farmers will grow trees. Right now, nobody wants to plant a tree because you can't cut it. Right. Um, is it also because farming has been about producing food crops and then cash crops of a certain kind, isn't it? This is cash crop. Forestry is a very rich cash crop. And yet, uh, why why did we not in why did farmers not invest in uh... fundamentally i know this very well i was living in farms 40 years ago at that time i know <laughs> fertilizer companies came and campaigned all trees must go otherwise your fertilizer will go waste tree roots are aggressive they will take away the fertilizer so systematically trees were cut down another reason is because they won't let you cut it if you let it, if you cut it, you can't transport it. These kind of laws are there. Right now, the environment ministry is looking at it carefully, except near forest uh, regions. They want to release the other regions that a farmer can grow whatever he wants. As he cuts his crop, he must be able to cut his tree. Only then he will grow trees. <laughs>